given the information about the geometric sequence, we want to determine the formula for the nth term. So we're given a sub zero equals five, which means the first term in the geometric sequence is five when n is zero. a sub one equals 40 ninths, which means the second term in the sequence is 40 ninths when n equals one. The third term of the sequence is 320 divided by 81 when n equals two. And we assume the sequence continues. All geometric sequences fit this form here, where to find successive terms, we multiply by r, which is called the common ratio. So if we take the first term a and multiply by r, we get the second term. We take the second term and multiply by r, we get the third term, and so on. This is always true if we have a geometric sequence. Now the formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence depends on whether the first term is a sub zero, which is our case, or whether the first term is referred to as a sub one. The formula would be a sub n equals a times r raised to the power of n if a sub zero is the first term, and a sub n equals a times r raised to the power of n minus one if a sub one is the first term. These two equations are equivalent as long as we use the corresponding value of n. So looking at our sequence, notice a, the first term is five, so if we can find r the common ratio, we can determine the formula for the nth term. And again, because our first term is a sub zero, we're looking at this form of the formula. There are two ways to find r the common ratio. Using this formula here, we can take any term in the sequence, a sub n, and divide by the previous term, a sub n minus one. The second method will be to just analyze the sequence. Let's take a look at both methods. If we want to analyze the sequence to find r, since these two terms are in fraction form, we would want to write five in fraction form as five over one. And now to help us find r, we'll look at the numerator and denominator separately. Let's begin by looking at the denominator. Notice we have one, nine, and then 81. So notice that one times nine equals nine, and nine times nine equals 81 and therefore the denominator of r would have to be nine. We'd multiply by nine in the denominator each time. Now looking at the numerator, notice how we have five, 40, and 320, and since five times eight equals 40, and 40 times eight equals 320, we have to multiply each numerator by eight, and therefore the numerator of r would be eight, which means the common ratio r is equal to eight ninths by analyzing the sequence. Now if we want to use the formula, we would have r equals, we can select any term except the first term, let's select the second term, so we'd have 40 ninths divided by a sub n minus one, which would be the previous term of five, and this is equivalent to 40 ninths. Instead of dividing by five, we'd multiply by the reciprocal of one fifth, if we simplify before multiplying, notice how there's one five and five, eight fives and 40, giving us r of eight ninths. So either way, r is eight ninths, which means the formula for the nth term is a sub n equals a, which is five, times r raised to the power of n, so we'd have eight ninths raised to the power of n. Based upon the given information, this is the formula for the nth term of our geometric sequence. I hope you found this helpful.